And welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my multi modded playthrough. And the bear's back. Uh, I don't see any wolves around here, though. Hmm. I think that's a rock. It's not moving, so. Ah, there's a deer here, too. Oh, you are cranky all of a sudden. Hey. Thank you. All right. Still not level five archery, so I can't shoot. crouching. However, works just fine with a rifle. Granted, I did not get a lot of rifle ammo out of the uh, the summit, though. I'm going to leave the guts. I don't need the guts. I've got a lot of guts. Not to mention there's a bear right over there that I could, you know, get the guts from if I wanted. Alright. Feathers. Don't mind if I do. Ah. There's Fluffy. Bows at 37% now. Man, I need to make a new bow. You jerk. It was in my shot was in mid-air whenever he turned and ran. Alright. He'll be back soon. Okay, he saw me again. Really? You saw me behind the rock? What a wuss. Okay, he's coming back already, though. Good. So the crows are circling the deer, but not the bear. Okay. Bad's the wind. <laughs> not horrible. Thank you. Is there anybody else around here now? Yeah. You look very surprised. Okay, this is gonna keep me going for quite a while, I think. <laughs> I have not hit cooking level 5 yet, but if I cook up this bear, I pretty much guarantee that I will hit it. Hour and a half. Since I'm not grabbing the guts, it's quicker to do this than it is to quarter it. Probably should have had some water first. Hey, you guys found him. Cool. All right, let me. Here we go. Well, it's foggy out. No more feathers. Hmm. 
Fun times. All right, so I finally made <laughs> the last trip and got almost everything out of the the wreckage down here. I left a bunch of clothing up there. Um, it's not stuff I'm gonna wear. I mean, it's stuff I could shred, I guess. I did get my combat pants repaired, and I got my other fisherman sweater kind of fixed up as well. And expedition park, but we got that repaired. Did you? There we go. Quit putting your ski goggles on the inside of your volaclava there, Astrid. It looks really weird. Ah, uh, but yeah. I got stuff to haul now. But, before I can do that, I need... You... There we go. That's a tiny piece. I need... You, and we'll grab a few guts. I've got some work to do. I need, for one, to craft a bow. Because, yeah. I finally hit archery level 4, so at least my bow will last twice as long. Alright, awesome. And, yeah, it's definitely nighttime. I should go ahead and sleep. How much water do I have on me? Uh, enough for now. No worries. Close your eyes right now. All right, awesome. So we have a brand new 100% bow. Uh, this one is at 27%. This one, 36. This one's like 65. It's fine. But I had all the materials. I'm like, yeah, I might as well just make a new bow. Wonderful day. And the other thing I want to make is the Travoy. This thing. Point four hours, really? Wow, Jeremiah's knife's broken. It only takes two guts. I thought it took at least four. Alright, yeah, fine. So, Travoy. 2.4 hours. There we go. I need to eat soon. I'm starving. Yep, that's why we still have moose out here. I have not cooked up the bear. I did cook up a good amount of venison, though. So we have that over there. And I've also got a bunch of these pine or uh, fur seeds. They're good for. You know, just topping off your food gauge. Well, it's a nice day out, isn't it? How are you doing? You're 18% cured. Okay. Yeah, it's time to start hauling stuff down to uh, the farmhouse, I guess. I could go hunting another bear. How many bear hides am I going to need, though? How many do I have so far? I've got one there. Two. Yeah. It's probably easier to go hunting bears in Pleasant Valley, though. Alright, let's go ahead and drop our boy here. Uh, Troy. There we go. And 72 ptarmigan down. It's, uh, it's insane. And now I've got a bunch of stuff in here. A bunch of stuff. 352 rose hips, 33 mushrooms. Yeah, 51 pounds of crap in here. And yet another hacksaw.
those were been deseeded, so. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that behind. Well, not leave it behind, but. Let's see, that can go in there as well. So that, let me go ahead and... This is the fastest you can throw rocks, by the way. I'm spam clicking left quicker at this point in time, and that's, that's it. <laughs> that's as fast as it'll go. There we go. Oh yeah, on my tree bark. You know what? Here, let's... Do an experiment, right? Okay. One weighs 0.22 pounds. One of these goes into two prepared bark. Which comes into, okay, so it weighs exactly the same. So, okay, doesn't matter. Here over an hour, sure, why not? I could disassemble that if I want, but I don't need 50 rocks, so. This is all the ptarmigan from the summit. I definitely want to take those with as well, right? I'll put that away as well. Wind's picked up pretty good, but we're doing alright. It's a little hard to believe there's only one Expedition Parka up there. My uh, 500 Day Stalker playthrough, I got, I think, three? From the summit, and then I got one more, I think, in uh, at the airfield. God, I'm gonna have to make so many trips. I'll tell you what, I'll see everybody in about a week. All right, we're back, and it's been a bit. Um, I got most of the food organized, and I kind of out of room for these three things here, unfortunately. I'll have to figure out a place to kind of squeeze them in somewhere. Um, yeah, maybe over here wouldn't be bad, but I'll figure something out. I wish more of these cabinets had no doors on them. That would be much easier. That and I've still got all the stuff on the table to take care of. Although the drink stuff, I guess, could go over here-ish. There's a decent amount of room here. Uh, clothes I haven't sorted out yet. Uh, we've got a bunch of airplane meals. We got one hematogen. This is my snacks, and uh, yeah, this is all my drinks except for the wine. The wine, for some reason, just quit rendering completely. So I put my wine in the freezer because I don't really like wine anyway, and I'll just use it to cook with sometime. So that'd be kind of cool if you could actually cook with that stuff. Uh, but I mean our. Our kitchen is pretty well stocked for now. This might seem a little low on a few of these things. That's because I actually have an outdoor storage, which I'll show off eventually. But for now, let's go into the basement. There we go. Uh, we only got one car battery so far. But we've got a lot of accelerant. We've got three extra ropes over here now. A bunch of spray paint. This is my flare collection. My lantern collection. I've got 12 so far. I can fit three more up on that shelf. Got four jerry cans, seven hatchets, five hammers, bunch of knives. And this isn't everything here yet either. Swing kits. This is all energy drinks. I'm going to see if I can, you know, get this as full as possible with those. Collection of tool kits. Also.
I made an extra Travoy by accident. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the second one I made, I forgot that I'd already made one. Uh, but this is hides and saplings in both of these. Just so I don't have them all over the place or stacked up to the ceiling. There is a mod out there for container size tweaks. I'm thinking about modifying lockers so they hold quite a bit more than uh, the 30 kilos they normally do. Because I'm running out of room. I really am. And there's not that many lockers down here. But to be honest, there's, there's two. And then there's a filing cabinet. This is my collection of hacksaws. Plus the one in my inventory. I do need to find a home for my bows. But I'll get around to that. I'm going to display them somewhere. I'm just not sure where yet. And it's going to take a little bit to load because I've done some stuff out here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Start my border on my walkway here. There are no wolves at all around here. It's kind of nice. But if we come over here to this, you know, exterior barn, I've been playing around with the DIY by Santana a little bit. Went ahead and blocked this off. I made two of these boards. I didn't realize how wide the one was on these. So decided to put one there. The other one I turned into a ramp to get up here. Come on, there it goes. A little twitchy at times getting up here because your character will end up standing on that ledge right there. And you have to kind of step up. But this is extra foods that won't fit inside, including this collection of pinnacle peaches I've got started. There's a lot. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of extra dog food as well. Yeah, this is the stuff that just won't fit inside. And, I mean, I could squeeze it in somewhere. But honestly, I was I'm starting to know a little, notice a little bit of frame rate drops uh, inside the house occasionally. And, uh... It's not ideal. All right, so got that taken care of. Where to next? Well, it didn't take all that long. Uh, we're back over here, though, at Thompson's Crossing. I need to check to make sure there's nothing left over here. Uh, I thought that was a feather at first. Man, these crows, they are not doing their job. And I don't think I've gotten this cash yet. The one that's hidden inside the piano. I hadn't. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I could grab a couple books. I imagine there's still stuff left in uh, the community hall, I guess is what it's called. I need a haul back. I should actually go through Thompson's and just scavenge all the cloth out of here just so I can get my mending skill up higher. There we go. All right. Well, I've been having some troubles with my video card lately. The latest driver update just borked things up and rolling it back has not fixed anything. So I am one step away from doing a completely brand new Windows install on my computer. I'm calling it good and just wiping everything and starting over from scratch. That would probably be a wolf down here going after this deer. Nope, bunnies. Bunnies are this way. Hello, bunny. There's the wolf. But he's pretty preoccupied right now, so I mean... I'm just doing him a favor, honestly. Now, the other rabbit ran up this way. Kind of annoying that this house is always boarded up. Uh, 
that's fir cones. Did the crows already settle in over there? No, it's just the ones over at the graveyard that I'm hearing. Okay. Man, where did this rabbit go? Yeah, those are all my footprints. I wasn't even really paying attention, so I don't know which direction he ran off in. There, I see him. Hey, we have Timberwolves coming in. Sweet. I thought he was going to continue that direction. Of course, since it's only a pack of two, because I killed that one first, then uh, the last one just said screw it and left. Oh, or not. He met up with a buddy. Nice. Okay, there's only two. I see you there in the fog. Come on. Whoa, okay, he was stuck between my legs there for a second. There you are. Okay, that got me. You know what? Give me a sec. I want my arrows back first. Put the rifle away. You can actually just watch my health just like drain away. That's fine. I was planning on sleeping here tonight anyway, so hey, you better run away. Oh, I only got bleeding twice. I thought I got it three times. That's blood spots. Okay. Well, that's three more wolves down. Uh, nothing else in the morning I can check for feathers, I guess. Fighting timber wolves in the fog is a little fun. That was a pop shot right to the head. I mean, they should be able to find me, all right. Where's the second one at? Oh, well. There he is. Double tap. All right. Not enough to kill him, but, you know. That should be enough to make sure. I mean, their morale's not broken yet, but uh, they're both suffering from gunshots, so.
Hey, it looks like the first one bled out. Sweet. And I already got that. Okay. Well, let's get to the community hall. I hope there is some sort of food here. Because I didn't really bring a lot with me. And we should be able to go in the basement, honestly. That would be great. Give me more areas to search. Got a lantern with like no oil left in it. Okay, I've got. Well, there's a candle. No, not the cup. The candle. Nothing in the drawers. Okay, I have no cooking utensils here. I do have some water. Ah, I left a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Um. Nothing edible, though. You know what? Move all that over. Yeah. Oh, how did I miss you? I have no idea. It's all empty. I wonder how much scrap wood you could get out of a, uh, a piano. Oh, there's food. Look at you. Nice. There. Oh, I do have rabbits on me too. Okay. And we have this giant stove, so I'm good for the night. This is the one that was being chewed on already. So he's going to have a little less food to him, but eh, that's fine. What was that creepy hand signal that she's doing right there? And I do have like 46 cattails, so I mean, I, I think I'm doing okay. Uh, you know what? This perk on. Aren't you going to say your prayers yet? Come on. I'm waiting. Wow. Oh, I've got extra stuff on me here. Oops. I brought an extra skillet with, apparently. That's fine. Ah. Dang it. Yeah, I mean, come on. It didn't last that or take me that long to put everything on. It was only a three minute piece of rabbit. It should have been fine. Oh, well. One more point for fire starting. Hey, this time she said it. Sweet. Seven minutes. Okay. Well, let's take and eat that. Rah, rah, okay. A couple sticks should be fine. I don't have a couple sticks. Okay, piece of reclaimed wood. How much water do I have? A quarter of a gallon? Okay. Well, that explains where I left that now, doesn't it? Oh, there's so many of these things around the world that it's not a problem leaving a bedroll behind. Probably going to leave. And eh, no. Because I can make furniture out of that stuff. I don't think I want to leave that behind. Did I not get rid of my infection risk?
There we go. How much time do I have left? I have eight minutes left. You're going to take ten. You know, I'll, I'll use the stick. All right, there we go. Benefit warming up, benefit restore condition. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, the sign signing out. Have fun.